Simple, but complicated. Easy, yet confusing. Hydrogen is a household word, but commonly misunderstood. It is often talked about like, duh, everyone knows what hydrogen is. But when you bring it up, most people think of water, H2O, or hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, or maybe even hydrogen as an alternative fuel. So it's time for a crash course into the most abundant and basic thing to ever exist. It's hydrogen time. Seven years ago, we started this channel with the basics. Now we think it's time to give those videos a facelift and add any additional information we may have missed. Make sure you stay to the end for some bonus hydrogen fun facts. Before we start, we have to say thank you to our Patreon supporters. These people see the value in our channel and have chosen to support us. We're so grateful for each of you. Join them and us in telling the world about the benefits of hydrogen gas. You can do so by going to patreon.com slash minutes. You won't regret it. Now, back to the hydrogen. As you know, H2 minutes is all about H2, also known as molecular hydrogen. But to understand H2, you have to understand hydrogen. You probably already know that hydrogen is number one on the periodic table. This means that hydrogen is the simplest and smallest element out of all the elements. So let's turn on our basic chemistry brain real quick. To understand hydrogen, we're going to need to understand a few things. First, we have to understand atoms. Atoms are kind of like Legos. They are the building blocks of everything we see and don't see. Atoms are made up of three fundamental particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. A proton is positively charged, a neutron is neutral, and an electron is negatively charged. These three particles make up ions, atoms, or molecules. A ion is an atom or molecule with a positive or negative charge. A molecule is a group of two or more atoms chemically bonded together. Now, how does hydrogen fit into all of that? The simplest form of hydrogen is a hydrogen ion or hydrogen cation. It is called cation because it has a positive charge. It goes by the abbreviation H+. Now, did you notice something strange? A hydrogen cation and a proton look exactly alike. And that is because they are the same thing. A proton is a hydrogen cation and a hydrogen cation is a single proton. These hydrogen ions dictate a lot of things like the pH of a solution or even atoms themselves. Now let's add an electron to that proton. This is a hydrogen atom. Atoms always have an equal number of protons and electrons. Hydrogen is the simplest atom because it has one of each. This guy goes by the abbreviation of a capital H. Since the protons and electrons are equal, that means it holds a neutral charge. But even though they are neutral, hydrogen atoms are very unstable and reactive. They do not exist in the wild on their own. They will always find something to bond to. They can also be classified as free radicals. Now, before we get to the star of the show, the third way hydrogen exists is a hydrogen anion, also known as hydride. This is one proton and two electrons. It is called an anion because it has a negative charge. This is a very strong base and very reactive. It is normally found in complex compounds and is not really common. But let's get back to our hydrogen atom. Electron, go away. Now, when a hydrogen atom gets paired up with another hydrogen atom, it becomes a hydrogen molecule. This is also called molecular hydrogen or diatomic hydrogen or hydrogen gas or dihydrogen. It goes by the abbreviation H2. Now, when people hear H2, they typically think of water, H2O, or hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, but that's clearly not what we're talking about here. H2 consists of two protons and two electrons and holds a neutral charge. These atoms hold together by covalent bonds, meaning they share electrons. Sharon is Karen, right? Unlike any other form of hydrogen, H2 is stable meaning it can exist as it is and does not readily bond with any other element when it's in this form. As I mentioned earlier, molecular hydrogen exists in the form of a gas. No, not that kind of gas. Although farts can contain plenty of hydrogen gas, I digress. Hydrogen gas is a tasteless, odorless, and colorless gas. H2 is flammable at a concentration of four to 75% in the presence of oxygen, except when dissolved into a solution. H2 can be dissolved into water, but does not bond with the water molecule. So when someone is talking about making or drinking hydrogen rich water, they are not talking about consuming H3O or anything else. It is simply H2O, water, 
and H2 molecular hydrogen. I talk more about that in this video. H2 is the smallest and lightest molecule in the universe. By small, I mean blow your mind small, which we will do just that if you watch this video and try to wrap your mind around really how small H2 is. And because it's so small, it can get anywhere it wants to in your body, even into your cells and to your mitochondria and benefit your DNA. Molecular hydrogen is recognized as a medical gas, meaning the administration of molecular hydrogen to the human body has the potential to exert biological and therapeutic effects. How do we know, you say? Well, I'm glad you asked. To date, there's more than 2,000 scientific publications showing that hydrogen has therapeutic potential for more than 170 disease models, as well as showing therapeutic benefit for virtually every organ in the human body. The research indicates that hydrogen works as a gaseous signal modulator that can upregulate or downregulate metabolic pathways in our bodies, which over time can drastically yet gently bring the body back into homeostasis and function in the way it's supposed to. Because of this, H2 has been shown to have antioxidant-like, anti-inflammatory, anti-allergic, anti-diabetic, and anti-aging benefits. Wanna know more? I have a video on each of these and many more videos about the benefits of molecular hydrogen. So in a nutshell, H2 has the potential to deal with the primary targets or root causes of health problems and not just address the symptoms. Check out this video about hydrogen for disease prevention where we go into great depth about this topic. Fun facts. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, making up 90% of the atoms in the universe and accounting for 75% of its elemental mass. Hydrogen is found in stars, gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, and in the vast interstellar space. In stars like the sun, hydrogen undergoes nuclear fusion to form helium. This process releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of light and heat which sustains the stars. So if hydrogen is all around you, don't you think it's about time to take advantage of its benefits for the inside of you? Your cells are begging you to get on molecular hydrogen ASAP. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for this channel. We have new content all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss out. And that was your fundamental dose of H2, not H or H plus within minutes.